Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, um, what would... uh, let me look at the menu. I'm not sure yet. You have Corona? See? Corona. Uh, uh, then I'll take Corona. But I'll look at the menu real quick. So we are here at another... And I think Cosmo, like, literally is surrounded by these. And it depends on the size of them. How... I don't know, authentic they feel. Uh, yeah, authentic they feel. And some of them are very like scuba oriented, some of them are not, but uh, it seems like the, the beaches are all surrounded by some sort of beach club or something smaller, beach shack. And this is one. And um, this is a scuba diving club for sure. Yeah, this is, has something to do with scuba diving because there's scuba tanks everywhere and people out there in the water scuba diving and so we came here so that we could get some more beach action and a drink maybe fly the drone but it appears that the coast guard is right next There's to a big us big building right behind there uh you might actually look no no if, I, if you look on the other side of the building this one that's part red right here yeah yeah that's the coast guard that's the coast guard so Possible. in my experience um anytime there's some sort of government entity whatsoever drones are not allowed yeah so that may not happen here um what are you trying to hide government <laughs> in the water what do you have down there Is it secret a experimentation on children oh my god we are not that channel no, we are not that channel <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so um a little more enjoying before the scooter gets taken back and that's then uh we're, we're going to go get cobra tests because that's what I feel the need to do today to feel good about the rest of the day. And after that, we have a dinner plans at Ix Mayan. Yeah, well, that's after after. I'm hoping there's something in between COVID tests. Antes de antes. Yeah. Yeah, after a COVID test, we're going to go get some uh, souvenirs for folks like you. And some... Oh, we can get some beach in here, but I don't think this is where I want it. No, we might... I, I, my toe might be done with diving, unfortunately, for today. Or for yeah. this trip. Or just life. Mm, the toe no, might be, be done with I life. I will cut that little toe off. That's what I'm saying. It might be done with life. Oh yeah, that toe can get done with life, but I'm not done with diving. Oh no, I know. Oh. Well, look at there. A drink appeared. I don't know why I turned off the video for the drink to appear. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. It's good. It's a good one. A good mojito. Mm -hmm. San Francisco! So far, so close. Yeah, we made it to San Francisco. Now, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm just What's happening? This is yours, I'm bringing it back. We are returning the bike. And uh, we only had to pay 100 pesos for the gas, which is great. Eso es mío. Gracias. Gracias. Gracias por todos. Muy divertido. Muy divertido. Now we dropped off our scooter. What do we got to do, baby? We got to go get the COVID. We gotta make sure we ain't got none of them Delta variants. Then we're gonna try to smuggle up into the U.S., get you all Delta varianted, get some Delta activity out there on the Delta 20 quick clicks outside the nine. Compromiso, lo siento. Lo siento.
I forgot to bring the cards. Yes, They've known us all out of whack, but thankfully people are cool here yeah. and are gonna let us bring the money later. <laughs> yes, so, uh, it's gonna be okay. I wouldn't recommend this. Again, we are the Amelia Bedelia Travel. Do not do what I- Bring all your pesos. Do. Bring, bring all your, your money car. all the time with you. Yes, all the- Today I've learned that it's not sobre de bocas, it's cubre boca, cubre boca, no sobre de boca. We're here waiting, we're gonna get tested, make sure we haven't caught the herp while we're down here. I think this way, wait, what are we getting tested for again? Chlam chlamydia. No, it starts with a C though. COVID. We're being tested for the car. Voila. This is gonna be my first COVID test. I've already had the vaccine. I thought I could get away with not having a COVID test. I mean, I didn't think I was gonna get away with it, but I'm not looking forward to it. At all. It's always surprisingly uh, invasive when a Q-tip goes through your nose to touch the back of your eyeball. Right now, Kat's getting her test taken. Luckily, she gets to read. It's it's okay. She's saying I don't know my own birthday, thinking I was born in. The 7th of November. Ugh. I, uh, I don't always listen to wife, but when I do, Okay, so first of all, on the main centro of Cozumel, there is a sign that says hospital, and one block up, there is a hospital. It says hospital and COVID testing, so it's really obvious. You go up one block, you get in, it, there's like no waiting. The lady there was so kind, she just told me to relax, and like, the for me, there was zero pain. There was no choking. There was no eye water. Like I, it could be different for other people, but you have uh, a big nose. I, I do not have a big nose. A big I just have a mind over matter that is able to handle all of this. So as long as we don't come out, you know, positive with the Delta variant or something, I'm gonna say this was a total win. The the nurse who took our test had the greatest bedside manner and all that. She's super relaxing and nice and. You know, making jokes, we talked about the fact that I'm blind. Blind, blind. yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't have his antho holes. Yeah. Um, we didn't have enough money, and they still let us do it. We're gonna go get the rest of the money and bring it back, but like, who says yes to that? Your bookie. Your, your bookie, sure, sure. But not like a hospital. All right, we're gonna go get the money and bring it back. One thing about walking around the same, you know, island for a while is that you come up with some landmarks. This very colorful building has become one of our landmarks. That's uh, the Instagrams of the people who did it. Calabadores. Check out their Insta. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. 
very cool. There's a lot of street art in Cozumel, which I love. But I think these are the same fish we ran across in Mount Monterey. They look like penis worms to us. I know they have another name. They, there's a whole bunch of them surfaced recently uh, near the coast of Santa Cruz. There's yeah. There's so many of them, and the news has taken all sorts of all sorts of pictures with children playing with them. It looks very odd. Very disturbing. This painting is dope. What is that? It's like the gentle tongue flower. So alien. That's dope. Jaguar. I'm telling you, if I get a place up in this island, I'm going to be paying people to decorate it every year. I'd like to mention that this tub is not everything I wanted it to be. Because it did not have my husband in there relaxing like a langosta last night. No, 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 we tried, unfortunately, all the water we could get into there. In like an hour. Because the water runs like that. You just gotta fill up this big tub. You couldn't even get up to the jets. Also, this is a little... <coughs> Janky. Needs, needs repair. All right, we're back in the house. I got the trajetas. Now we gotta head over to the uh, ATM, pull out some cash. I think I'm gonna pull out cash for dinner tonight too. Um, and then we will pay the hospital so we can get our COVID test, look for some souvenirs, get some sand, go to dinner. I think that's a full day for a lazy day such as this. Personally, what do you think, baby? I think so too, but I think I'm gonna take a moment to cool down. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna take a moment to use Usar el Sanitario. Looks like we got our results for uh, patients. For a test? For me. For cat? Resultados. Negativo! Negativo! Si, negativo! Now, drum will freeze. Okay, next. Wait, come over here. Okay. Ah, for Christopher Bundy. For Christopher, Christopher Bundy. Negativo. Negativo. Si. Awesome. Um, all right, we get to go back to America. I mean, I kind of had this fantasy that, I mean, I don't want to have it, but I don't want to go home to eat it. like the square of Cozumel, the main square. Oh look, we found a lizard. Behold, the iguana in the natural habitat is the iguana. Places where you want a vacation is the natural habitat of the iguana. Get our fucking sand. Good idea, baby. Everywhere in Cozumel has these stairs that just kind of go down to the beach. Well, not everywhere, but at at the beginning of Cosmo, at the front air near the port. So that's where we're gonna get our sand.
I have a picture of it. And we walked in here and I just had a, a deja vu moment. We've been here. A while back. How could I forget the bar that like serves things this size? Like it won't all fit in the in the video. I mean it will, but it won't. This is a tamarind uh, margarita with tahini. This is uh, this is the rest of my afternoon, actually. <laughs> <laughs> And behind us, this right, right, these guys over here, uh, they got some real talent, man. This guy's got a great voice, and they've been rocking. I'm not sure if it's all, I think it's all original music. It might be some covers, but that's been good. I'll show you their Insta. Yes, man. Thank you. Say, say, what was it? What do you guys Mikaele call? Mikaelehu. Mikaelehu. Yeah, that's me. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, man. Hard. You got you got a great voice. And you guys are rocking. Glad you like it. Oh heck yeah, yeah man. Thank you. Keep rubbing. The winner. Soy Victorio. I like to savor the flavor. We've been here hours. No more savoring. And after all, you're my wonder wall. They have provided us with bags to put our masks inside. We just leave those over there so we don't lose those. Where are we, babe? Uh, it's Maya. No, it's cool. It's cool. This is a, a Mayan restaurant that we really wanted to try. Uh, it's very highly rated. Talk louder. It's very high, highly rated. So we're excited to get the Mayan food. What have you ordered so far? Uh, so far we've got some fresh waters, the fruit waters. Uh, it's a chai out with lemon and mint. And Kat got the pineapple with chia, which is interesting to me. I just didn't see chia. 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 No, mine's chia. Yours is chia. What? Chia versus chia? Chia. Those oh. weird alien seeds they've been talking about that, like, I swear to God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chia. Chia, 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 chia. Like, they're, they're very popular amongst the granola crowd right now. Yeah, that'd be interesting. <laughs> great about it this feels like plastic in my mouth here's the great thing about that I can't take paper straws I can't take it it just dries out my teeth I die a little inside let me give it a try yeah this is interesting what are you having mine is the chaya with lemon and mint it's very very minty herby Lemon is, is very gentle, delicate. Okay. It's a cool drink. Yeah, I would say mint is the overall flavor in that. But like, I'm going to a spa when I drink that. Mm -hmm. Mine um, is delicious. It's chia seeds along with pineapple and agua. It's very refreshing. 
we are about to have something very super traditional and very Mayan. Uh, it's uh, Sikil means pumpkin seeds and uh, pot. I don't know what that means, but uh, it's going to be something pumpkin seed based. We're going to mix it up right here at our table. I'm excited. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh, but first. Nice. Mira de Jesus. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. But I enjoy that. <laughs> black pepper, pimienta in español. Black pepper in Maya is Boschol. Boschol. Boschol in Maya. Sal in Maya is 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 belt 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 belt. Y habanero de pepper, habanero de pepper es ik. Ik, that means that habanero de pepper, habanero de pepper es ik. Ik, so ik, cool. Or is it beans? It feels like meat. I don't want to say there's meat there. Um, but I, I'm really liking the pickled stuff on top as well. I haven't gotten to the egg, but I'm assuming the egg is also amazing. Yeah, try it, babe. Alright. Alright. Which one? I think you try that? the mild. But I did try it. <laughs> this is habaneros. This is Rojas. This is the mild. I tried the other kind, but even the mild was nice. So our next item. This is the the the, the leaf that was in my drink. It's chaya. It's fried, it's fried right now. Yeah. Tastes good. Yeah. Why don't you try your food? Essentially, chaya, like Elma's little empanadas. Oh, more. This is the panucho. And these are the panucho. Nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where to start? This is puerco pibil uh, on top of like a little salad with uh, the panucho things in the bottom. Some pickled. Cabbage and onion on top. Very good. And had you had any spice in your mouth whatsoever, and you took a bite into this thing, it's all gone. It's like nut, cheese, fat, cuts all the spice. It's great. Oh, me. I was just about to try one of our uh, cochinita pibil peludos. First, without any sauce, let's give it a try. Mm. This just needs any sauce. That pork is perfect. I have to kill the chef. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. And 
once again for Chris's birthday, they've gone all out at its cool. Feliz cumpleaños. It's cool. Yeah. Let's talk about this. Yeah. Muchos gracias. Muchos, muchos gracias. Yeah. We tried so hard not to eat too much, but it was, man, it was so good. It was impossible. We even got some of it to go, uh, and we didn't take all of it to go. Dude, I would have taken all of it to go, but I'm going to. I gotta get on a plane. They're not gonna let me take all this with me. No. If we, like, the damn cornbread. Oh my god. It was heaven. It, it tastes. It tasted like you couldn't have it. Yeah, it was like cream corn and tres leches cake. That sounds bad, but it, it's amazing. And butter and ice cream. Yes, it is fabulous. I highly recommend this place. Cool. Um, and if you're gluten free, like if you don't understand what Mayans can do for me. Mm -hmm. Check out the Mayans, man. You need to get that Mayan diet. Mm -hmm. Although yep. you might end up gaining quite a bit of weight. I mean, don't go crazy like we do every day. Oh my God. You can't do every day. Not every, you can buy all my CDs. Not every day. Not every day. So, as happens every time, I've lost something. This time, maybe in a cab, maybe at the restaurant. I don't know. But I've lost the remainder of my medication, not the new medication from Mexico that I've been poisoning myself with, the medication that I typically take that I need, and it's gone. And uh, it is what it is, but um, I'm just going to have to grin and bear, you know, whatever the side effects of not taking said medication are while I go through the hectic travel of travel. Uh, it's cool. I'll be fine, but if I'm not fine, you know why. Made it. I fell asleep. Yep, that worked well. It's now time to go into Playa del Carmen and figure out what we're going to do. Hey, hey, don't trust her. 